Welcome to Electron Line. In order to bring attention to another aspect of changing between radical form and exponential form, we added something to the basic set of rules here. This was the problem we saw in the pre previous video without the negative sign. We left that out for now. And here we have the fourth root of 16 cubed. We can also look at it as since it doesn't matter what the order of operation is in this case, we can either take the fourth root first or we take or we can raise it to the third power first, it doesn't really matter. You can take this and say that's actually exactly the same as this. You can take the exponent, bring it to the outside, put parentheses around it, and here you can see that this is exactly the same as that. Therefore, you can take the fourth root first. The fourth root of 16 is 2, and so this becomes 2 cubed, which is equal to 8. So let's try that now on this particular example. Here we have minus 9 raised to the 3 halves power. We're going to write that in radical form. If we do, this is equal to negative, and again be careful, the negative sign is not affected by the exponent, so we put it to the outside. Negative, and in this case the number on the denominator indicates the root, so it's the square root. We don't have to write the 2, but just so that it becomes clear, I'll write the 2 there anyway. That's the square root of 9 cubed. And because we have that there, now we can use that as an example. This is equal to the negative square root of 9 and this quantity cubed. Now be careful that you do not include a negative sign because it's not affected by the exponent. So this means that we can simply take the square root of 9 first and then cube it. Of course, we don't have to write the 2 there, so this could have easily been written as such. Without the 2 there, simply the square root of 3. And now what we can do is take the square root of that, so this is equal to the negative of 3 quantity cubed, because the square root of 9 is indeed 3, and then of course 3 cubed is 27, so this becomes a negative 27. So again, it's it's important to recognize that this can be written as this, which can be written like that. And again, we don't have to write the 2 there. If it's just a square root, you can see, simply leave the 2 off, and that means exactly the same thing. When you begin to recognize that, these types of problems become a whole lot easier to work with. And that's why we do it like that.